The judge in the Parkland shooters penalty phase denying his defense team's move for a mistrial over drawings made by Nicholas Cruz admitted into evidence. Jurors also hearing from a teacher who met Cruz in the eighth grade and spoke about his concerning behavior in school. Local 10's Christina Vasquez is live in Fort Lauderdale with the latest from court. Christina. Jurors also heard her explain how, from her point of view, this also began to escalate over time, growing to the point where she was afraid of him. And when I said, I know that you can behave, I've seen you, you're a good kid, he responded by shouting, I'm a bad kid, I want to kill. Jurors saw what the Parkland shooter decided to draw in eighth grade on teacher Carrie Yon's language arts assignments. He designs an ad in a TV commercial for a sex toy. Stick figures in sexually explicit poses, others shooting each other in the face. It didn't feel safe. Okay. For anyone. And she shared her concerns about his vulgarity. He had drawn a picture of a penis and wrote F you bitch at the bottom of the page. NC also wrote F you on the desk in pen. He needed to be in a different environment that could help him psychologically and, and with his education as well, just in every way. His impulsive and erratic behavior with administrators, some telling her. He had a right to an education and he had a right to be there just like all the other kids. But he was not like all the other kids. The defense told jurors he suffered prenatal brain damage from a drug addicted birth mother and that his adopted mother, Linda Cruz, was inept at managing him. Did she uh, appear to make excuses for his behavior? She did at times. She did not seem very concerned. She claimed that he's a boy going through puberty. And despite a documented obsession with guns and violence. And is at a loss as how to handle his behavior. She said she rewarded him with violent video games. The troubled preteen was also begging her for a BB gun. Promising that he would just shoot at trees. She told him that it was for mature 18 plus individuals only, but made it sound like there was a possibility of him getting one in the future. And now as a companion to that testimony, what jurors are hearing now is from the then principal of West Glades Middle School. And he's really explaining what he described as explosive, but also attention seeking behavior. He also made a reference through testimony about a phone call he may have received from the prosecution, making him feel uncomfortable. Now this relates to just a short time ago, the defense asking the court for a 24 hour recess. We are unpacking all of that for you, plus the arguments that underpin why the judge did decide to deny a defense request for a mistrial on our website. That's local10.com. Reporting live for you from Fort Lauderdale, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.